friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video we are going to be getting a little bit risque. We are going to be reviewing the lowest rated items at Rihanna's lingerie brand. That is Savage X. Fenty. So lately on YouTube, I have seen so many YouTubers doing reviews from Savage X Fenty, but they are all sponsored and I've got nothing wrong with YouTubers doing sponsored content. You guys know that I do sponsored videos as well. However, I was curious to see what these products are actually like in real life. So I thought instead of just doing a normal haul, I would instead review the lowest rated items on Savage X Fenty for you guys. So usually when I do these videos, I already know what each item is rated and then I open them up and read the reviews before I've even like tried on the item item but I've read your comments and you guys would prefer if I opened up the item without knowing how what it's rated tried it on without knowing what it's rated and then read which item is the lowest rated so that is what we are going to do today I hope that made sense if not it'll make sense as we keep going through the video so without further ado let's kick off with the very first item the first item that we have here today from Savage X Fenty is a bra so this website is very expensive. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's expensive. This one bra cost me 89 Australian dollars. Of course, I'll put on the screen now what that is in all other currencies. And I understand that it's like a high-end brand, but that's a lot. For one bra, that's quite a lot. So I do have high expectations for this, especially because these are the lowest rated items. So I haven't looked at the rating, but this is what it looks like. So it comes with stuffing in the bra cups, which I love. Okay, so this is the bra. Oh, it's cute though. Oh, it's a bit of a cute bra. So this is the item. It's this beautiful bra that is black and has all lace on it. So it's called a snake bra because the print on it is kind of snake-like in which if you get it in the right lighting, you can see the snake print on it. So it's actually meant to be strapless, but they've included straps as well, which I think is really nice. So you can take these off and wear that strapless. And I also love the detail of the little X on the front here, that little charm. So cute. So this does look to be really well made. I mean, of course, it'll be, we'll have to see what it's like when I put it on. But from my first impressions, it does have all the sticky material on the top here. So it's, if you want to wear it strapless, you'll be able to keep everything up and in place. This is what the bra looks like. Like on. So this is the front and this is the back and I'm wearing it with a pair of jeans so hopefully not get demonetized by YouTube so I'm hoping that this will work. But as for the bra itself, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts about it and what I'm thinking before I read any of the reviews or before I see what the rating is. That way, you know, my opinion isn't skewed by what others have said. So I do think that it is a little bit small. It is like I'm kind of spilling out of this bra and that isn't really what's meant to happen. But apart from that, I do think it's quite cute. I just definitely could have gone up a size, which... I did not. I just ordered my usual size and going up a size would have been better. And also it works great as a strapless bra. Like if I take off the straps, it stays up, which is amazing as well. So let's see what the reviews say. It does say that this is actually Rihanna's pick. Oh, Rihanna, you like this top? Okay, okay. So it is rated 3.8 out of 5 stars, which isn't great because a majority of the items on this website were 4.5 stars out of 5 or higher. But let's see what people are saying. The reviews say that it is too small. So I was right and I definitely do agree with that. But first review says too small and is not the right size. Another review says so small. Another one says not true to size at all. All way too small and a weird fit. What does that say? And this bra is so small that I feel felt like a workout <laughs> to even try and get it on. Once I got it on, I was horrified by how it made me look. It swished my boobs, but not in a flattering way to create cleavage. It also felt like it was crushing my rib cage. Okay, um, I disagree personally. It's not super super small on me. It is small, and I don't think it looks too flattering, but like I'm gonna keep it and wear it. And I didn't notice it to be too difficult to get on. I did, however, have to hook it on to the very last hooks here which I know is not ideal usually you want to be able to hook it on to at least the middle because this is going to stretch over time and all that jazz so yeah it is a bit small the next item that we have is another bra and this retails for $82.25 so let's get it out of the packaging and see if it's worth that much money one thing I must say is that I do like the packaging on the not necessarily packaging but the way it's packaged like it's all taken care of I like that they put this in there because this is quite a thin bra that way it doesn't rip or anything whilst in transit so I do appreciate that attention to detail but this is the bra oh what is that okay that's more packaging <laughs> but 
This is the bra. It's this beautiful lilac little bralette. I think bralette's probably the better word than bra. They call it, what do they call it? A bra, yeah. But it's actually more of a bralette. It's in this gorgeous lilac color. So it's beautiful. I am a little concerned. I mean, not concerned. I mean, it's this beautiful sheer material on the front. Just hope it doesn't rip before, like, putting it on. Hopefully it'll be okay. Like, I get... Trust and believe. I understand what it's doing. It's trying to be very saucy and sexy by having it be this very thin material and it's see-through. It's super cute. I just hope that it's not so thin that it rips before I can even put it on. But apart from that, this looks to be cute. Like, maybe that's why this is one of the lowest rated items, just for that little bit of material. But apart from that... I love, I think it's so good. All right, this is what the bra looks like on. So I am wearing a black crop top underneath it because half of this bra is see-through. Like the this bit here is completely sheer and so I obviously can't wear that on YouTube. Anyway, this is what the front of the bra looks like and this is the back. And I actually really, really like this. Like it fits me really well. Super cute. I love the color and the quality on it is really nice. So I know I said earlier that this like sheer part I was worried about if it was going to rip or anything. I have really been pulling on it and there are no drivers at all. So it's made really well and it's not super supportive but it is sort of like a bralette. So for a bralette it's about as supportive as you would expect. Okay so this is rated 3.3 out of 5 stars. This is lower rated than the black bra. Wow I did not expect that. So let's see what the reviews are saying. The first review says I've never hated my breasts more in a bra. I can't express how ugly these made my breasts look. They fit into the bra fine but made them look flattened on the side and pointy but also lumpy. Maybe I need to size up, but I didn't expect such an issue. I completely disagree. I, for me personally, I'm not saying that they're wrong at all. That is obviously what's happened with them, but I did not find that at all. That's very interesting. And they, it says here, oh my gosh, why is there a fly in here? Okay. It says on this review that they wear a 38B. I am a 32B, I'm pretty sure. So we're about the same size. So that's very interesting. But another one says that it's a solid bend and the cup size is small. And not only that, it makes your boobs look weird, like torpedo quads. Really kind of over Fenty. So hit or miss, mostly miss. Wow. I did not think that at all. Wow. Okay. Another one says that it runs small. I I mean, I don't think that it does personally, but this person has a bigger chest, so maybe in the bigger sizes it does run small. But wow, I'm really surprised to see that so many people dislike this bra, and especially that these are women with, um, sorry, I shouldn't say women, that these are people with the same breast size as myself, because I thought it looked great. Like sometimes, you know, if you've got bigger breasts, it will look different and all that jazz, but wow. Well, there you go. I personally disagree with those reviews. I think that it looks great. I mean, not right now with the crop top, but without the crop top, I think that it looks great. But I guess that it's different for everyone. Next up, we have another bra. However, this is the final bra in today's video. And it is a nude one because trust and believe from someone that loves fashion, that is always wearing crazy outfits, you can never have too many nude bras. So let's see what we think of this, considering this is meant to be one of the lowest rated items on the entire website. Once again, this bra has really good patterns packaging in the sense of there's lots keeping it together, lots of tissue paper, and oh, okay, the straps are not it, but it does come with straps as well, just like the black one. So, this is what the bra looks like, super cute, love it, I love this little detail of the X in the middle here, that little charm, I think that is so very cute. So, the bra looks to be really well made once again, like all of these items are really good quality, but also they should be because this bra costs $82.25, that's that's a lot of money for one bra. Look, and no lingerie is expensive. Completely get that. However, this is a plain nude bra. Like, it's nothing fancy. That's a lot of money. So, I will be very critical on these because, especially because it's not push up, and push up is my fave. So, it looks to be really well made. I really can't see any glaringly obvious issues with this bra. The only main issue I have is the price. However, I don't think that would make it one of the lowest rated items on this website because Savage X Fenty is expensive. It is. It just is what it is. So, I don't think that will factor into people's ratings on this. But let's go try it on and see why this is one of the lowest rated items on the entire website. Okay, this is what the bra looks like on and I'm really nervous about getting demonetized for this one just because it like matches my skin tone. But this is the front and this is the back. And so again, I do think just like the black bra, this one is a little bit small. And I have realized that it is because I accidentally bought two of the same bra. I don't know how I messed up like this, but this is the same bra as the black one. It's just a different color and therefore they are both rated 3.8 stars out of five and they have the exact same reviews so uh i messed up there but at least you guys know 
I'm honest and then I'll come on here and tell you guys where I messed up instead of like making up reviews or something for this. So instead of just not showing you guys this bra at all and cutting it out of the video, I'm just going to read to you guys some more of the reviews about this bra because as I said with the black one, it is small but it is actually really well made and somehow I feel like this one isn't as small. I still had to do the hook up on the very last little rung thingy which isn't ideal but it does fit me a lot better than the other one and a nude bra is something that everyone needs especially strapless so let's see what the reviews say well we really know what they say but let's see what more of the reviews say the first review says cute and amazing quality get a cup and a band size down though down so they're saying to get smaller whereas i would definitely say go a size up because this is tiny but another review here says that it stays in place, that they are more on the busty side, so it's hard to find a strapless bra that stays in place. I'm the opposite, I'm on the smaller side, and therefore I find it hard for a bra to stay in place. So we're in the same boat there, just for two different reasons. And it says that it took them for a few exchanges to find the correct size, but once they did, it was a match made in heaven. So maybe if you get the right size, it'll fit perfectly. And their exchange, it, like their exchange program is pretty good. Like exchange program, that sounds like we're going overseas. Returns and exchange is pretty good with Fenty. So if you're able to get it in the right size, I do think it would be great because like I said, fits well and it's not falling down, which I love. We are now onto the lucky last item in today's video and it is not a bra. It is instead some underwear. So this was one of the lowest rated items on the entire website. And this is what it looks like. So it is a black high-waisted thong underwear and this is $34.23. I'm looking on the floor because I have all the prices here. But again, quite expensive, but this entire website is expensive. So, I, I mean, I have to mention the price because it is a lot of money for a very thin piece of material. However, you're paying for it being Rihanna's brand. You're paying for her name pretty much, which is just what it is in the fashion world. And lingerie itself is expensive. But anyway... This is the item, and right off the bat, I'm not really seeing any glaringly obvious issues with it. It does look to be a bit big, but I don't know. Sometimes when you hold something in your hand versus when you put it on, it's not as big in person, like once you try it on. So I'm not seeing any glaringly obvious issues with this. So, I mean, let's just go put it on. There's not much more to say. There's not much to say about this. Don't know, again, how the heck I'm going to show this to you guys. So we'll see what um, future Annalise comes up with. I swear I look crazier every single day on this channel. But I did not know how the heck I was going to show you guys what this G-string looks like on. But I figured if I put it over the top of some red bike pants, it'll look good. And as for the crop top, I was like, oh, well, it kind of matches the black. Sorry, that's what we got right now. But anyway, this is the front and this is the back. Oh, hang on, let me... There you go. Oh, look at that. Sorry. <laughs> This is what the thong looks like on, and it is really high-waisted. Like, I know it's meant to be high-waisted, but it goes above the waistband of my um, bike shorts. I could not think what they were called, which is really high-waisted. Sorry, if that's something you're looking for, I think these are great. And I actually really like these. I think that they're a great pair of underwear, super well-made. They're quite sheer, but they're meant to be, which is like a part of the design. And I think that these are really cute. So this is rated, oh, that hurts. This is rated 4.2 out of 5 stars. So let's see what everyone's saying. And by the way, that's a really good rating as well. So obviously there were a lot of like very highly rated items on this website for this to be one of the lowest rated items at 4.2 stars. But the reviews say that it is very small and couldn't even get it over the size of their hips. Followed the size guide, but it was quite wrong in this case. I'm not sure what they look like on, but the material seems nice. Yeah, the material is nice. I didn't have any issues with it being too small. What size did I get this in? I got this in a size small, just for reference, and I think it fits great, so... Fair enough. Someone else said that they don't like the material because it's uncomfortable and scratchy. Another one said that they didn't like the material because it's rough and the seam is uncomfortable. I'm not noticing that at all. Like, I think it feels totally fine and obviously it's not on my best skin, but it doesn't seem to be itchy. Like, I did try it on, like, a normal person without these on <laughs> off camera, so it wasn't itchy at all. So... I don't know, I did not have that experience. Overall, I mean, I think that this fits well. You might benefit from sizing up on these, but I think that they're cute and fun. I mean, I love this outfit. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't like this outfit at all, but unfortunately, I need to try and, you know, not get demonetized. So, 
And overall, I don't think that this deserves to have such a low rating. The rating isn't really that low, but I think that this is a great pair of underwear. And with that, that is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this, be sure to let me know down below because I was thinking of maybe showing you guys my entire lingerie collection. Is that a bit much for YouTube? I don't know. Let me know down below what you think and we will go from there. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and all that fun stuff. I'll have all my links on the screen right now and also linked down below. And also, of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week, twice a week. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.